Yeah, hi. Thank you so much. Uh, this is uh, Ayusha Sara over here. Um, and uh, I would, uh, we have come here together to briefly to talk about how SAP on AWS can be deployed and uh, how AWS can help you in your journey towards, say, an SAP deployment or uh, a fresh or uh, an SAP migration to AWS. So I will walk you through uh, what AWS infrastructure is about and uh, how SAP and AWS have worked together in all these years. Okay, so um, we so, so we understand that SAP is mission critical to your business. Uh, we know that uh, uh, that the that SAP forms the backbone of every organization, and hence it's extremely important that you uh, that you pick and choose the right platform to host. Uh, SAP, which does not give you issues from time and again, right? So, uh, given that uh, customers have to move to SAP HANA by 2025, it is all the more important to make that important call now. Uh, uh, and uh, we today we will be discussing the challenges that you face uh, uh, with respect to these deployments, the pain points uh, that we can identify that AWS can help you with. Um, and the roadmap that you can take uh, for these migrations and how AWS can come in and help you with these migrations, right? So talking about the challenges uh, and uh, uh, that you typically have when you're running an SAP deployment on-premises. Uh, so, so when you when you uh, bring in infrastructure to host your SAP, say on-premise or in a colo environment, you have to stick with that infrastructure for the entire life of uh, five to seven years, right? Uh, which uh, makes it very rigid and uh, and given the contract terms, say of a colo provider, it makes it uh, less agile to make any changes uh, as you go on and. Uh, uh, in your entire journey towards uh, towards an SAP deployment, um, and also not to mention that it's highly uh, uh, capital in intensive. So you have to put in a lot of uh, investment, uh, capital expenses upfront to get it going. And um, and given its infrastructure, there is uh, uh, there is a long project cycle, uh, which includes the time it takes for the infrastructure to come in for you to configure. Uh, those servers and then to start kicking it off. Uh, you also have to maintain uh, uh, a separate team to take care of that hardware, which you could probably have used somewhere else in a better position or in for something that really directly impacts your business. Uh, right. So, in turn, what does your team really need? Your team needs uh, uh, for the SAP deployment. It needs a secure environment. Uh, it needs an environment where they can change as the demands change. Uh, they uh, they they can they can do it in an environment which is efficient at the same time keeping all the cost low right um, so uh, so this is this is broadly uh, what is required for an SAP deployment um, but uh, moving over to what AWS is uh, so AWS is a secure uh, cloud service platform uh, we have over 120 services and uh, customers have used our platform to host anything from uh, a normal static website uh, to multiplayer games to mobile apps to their mission critical deployments like SAP, Oracle, and so on and so forth. Uh, we have services that cut across uh, compute, that cut across security and compliance, uh, IoT, um, and uh, machine learning, data analytics, and, and so on and so forth. Right. Uh, um, we have over 20 regions and we have over 61 availability zones. I'll briefly cover what uh, is a region and what is an availability zone. A uh, region is basically uh, a physical location in the world where AWS services are, uh, are hosted. It might comprise of uh, two or more available availability zone, wherein an availability zone in itself uh, comprises of uh, two or more discrete uh, uh, data centers, uh, so which gives you, so this this uh, entire structure gives you the ability uh, to operate uh, a highly available solution in, within an AWS region, uh, wherein you can have, 
have one set up in one availability zone, which is a set of data centers, and another set up in another availability zone, which is a set of another data center. And all these data centers are completely independent of each other, uh, with their own redundant power, with their own networking, uh, uh, independent networking, and are obviously in completely separate facilities, right? So even within the same region. Um, so. What sets AWS apart in all of this and apart from other cloud providers? Uh, given that AWS was the pioneer uh, in the cloud space, uh, it has the most matured platform which is out there. Uh, this uh, translates into over 120 services and it can support any cloud workload. So if you do, do choose AWS for your SAP deployment, uh, you don't have to look further for your any fresh new IT requirement, right? So if you are looking uh, for a for an environment to deploy uh, your web website, uh, you AWS has an answer to that. If you're looking for a customer customer engagement workload, AWS has services that can help you deliver. If you're looking for uh, uh, putting up a data lake and running some analytics on top of that, AWS has uh, has managed services for that. So it's a very mature platform. Uh, it has a global footprint. It is spread across many geographies. So it gives you a highly available uh, uh, environment. And obviously the experience comes along with it because we have over a million plus customers that are running and using AWS, right? Um, and uh, obviously not to mention uh, the, the enterprise leadership that AWS has gained over the years. Uh, and you can see that even in the Gartner Magic Quadrant, AWS has consistently been ranked the leader and it is way far ahead uh, than all the other competitors which are there in the cloud market. Um, right. So, and, and given that AWS, that uh, our customers have to move their SAP uh, to SAP HANA by 2025, AWS can come in and make that a, a painless transition. Uh, talking about the SAP AWS Alliance, um, so uh, a SAP and AWS Alliance uh, goes back to 2008 when uh, when uh, we, we started off uh, with SAP just as a customer and uh, the, the relationship has matured to the point that SAP is now uh, a partner, a business partner for AWS. Um, the, and on AWS platform, you can run uh, anything from SAP HANA to S4 HANA to business one, business objects, uh, SAP databases, mobile solutions, hybrids. So it's it's a very uh, and these are all deployments which have uh, which have gone in production on the platform. So so this is not just for the support, but these are actual production workloads which are already running. So it's a very tried and tested platform, so to say, for SAP. Um, so uh, so what AWS has to offer in in specific uh, one the experience. So uh, we so. Uh, our CTO has a very uh, famous tagline, right? So there is no compression algorithm for experience. So what that translates is that uh, we, given the number of customers that we have, and given that we've been around uh, with SAP, say at least for 11 years, we know what it takes to have uh, an agile and a secure environment for something as critical as SAP. Uh, and this has also given us uh, the edge to have a technical excellence uh, since we have the highest number of uh, uh, compute instances certified by SAP across all the vendors. So you will get the smallest of the instance to run your SAP HANA to the highest of the instance. And as you can see over here, these instances range from a 4 TB uh, instance to a 50 TB instance, uh, which is which is very difficult to come by uh, anywhere else in the market. Uh, and obviously, not to mention that we have uh, over thousands of customers that are already using this, uh, AWS for their SAP deployment. Uh, uh, so, uh, how do you move? There our customers follow uh, many different paths. Uh, you could do a lift and shift. Uh, you could move an existing SAP landscape from on-prem to cloud. I've personally worked on uh, quite a few, and uh, it's it's a very faster. It's it's a much faster process than if you were to do it on say an on-prem to on-prem or an on-prem to colo provider. Uh, you could. Convert and upgrade, so you can move. Uh, uh, you can move to SAP. Say if you are on DCC right now, 
you can move your SAP to AWS and then you can upgrade it to HANA once you are here. You can even re-platform, you can even move from uh, one OS to another. Uh, you can also go in for a fresh new S4 HANA deployment. Uh, I have seen quite a few of that as well. And, uh, and all the customers are uh, within and between uh, these stages of deployment of the SAP, right? And so it begs to ask the question, where are you headed?